Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another morning with Proverbs. For those that are new to this, this is where we share a short too many videos sharing from the Book of Wisdom, otherwise known as the Book of Proverbs, written by the wisest king that ever lived, King Solomon, who asked God for one thing. He says, God, if you're going to give me anything, don't give me fame, money, or power, even though we got it. He says, what I desire more than anything is more of your wisdom and knowledge, so I know how to really be successful in this life. But more importantly to Solomon, how to lead other people into that success as well. So that's why we have the Book of Proverbs. So let's really get into this so we can share in our godly wisdom and obviously, you know, produce our own success. Uh, We're going to be reading from chapter 18 for those taking notes, verse 2, and it reads this. A fool finds no pleasure in understanding, but delights in airing his own opinions, right? Now, a fool has no desire for understanding, point number one. But second, that same fool is a person who loves to talk the most, okay? Now, I hear so many people having great debates about how government should be running this country, how government is doing such a poor job. But have they ever studied that politics? Have they ever studied that uh, economics? Have they ever understood what it really takes to run this country? No, but they are the first ones to have a great opinion, all right? The same people, I've heard employees in a business, you know, they're not the ones to take the risk and put their money where their mouth is to set up a business, but they're the same ones criticizing their bosses, the same ones telling everybody, you know, the boss is this and they should be doing that and they should be doing this. They have no understanding of what it takes to run a business, but they're first ones to speak. Okay, you know, the same people, I hear so many people being negative about Christianity, right? But yo, unless you studied it out, unless you understand it, okay, you know, you can't comment. But they're the first ones to criticize, okay? I hear this even from church folk, and I challenge church folk too, right? You'll be the first ones to criticize the pastor and say the church is not doing what it needs to do. The question is, have you even studied your Bible so you know what needs to happen? Or are you just verbalizing out of your folly? Okay? Now, it really bugs me, really bugs me, because I used to be the same person. I was the person that could tell everybody everything, because I knew everything but knew nothing. I was the fool who liked to air his opinions, right? Okay? So I had to really challenge myself and say, yo, do you know what? I'm going to stop speaking as much, I'm going to start gathering that knowledge. So I I challenge you, do you know what? If you're going to be critical of something, if you're going to air your opinions, make sure you're not speaking out of folly, but you're speaking out of wisdom. And if you don't know something, shh, as we spoke about the other day, all right? So we hope that you're blessed this morning. Really think about this one. It's a big one, all right? But as we always say with Jen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we're doing that life is our gift back to God. So go out there and please be blessed. But more importantly, go and be a blessing. God bless you and see you soon. Bye-bye.